This conference will now be recorded. So, uh, we'll be starting now. That is calibration. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover here. We will see what is calibration inspection. Calibration inspection overview. Then we will see calibration inspection process. Okay. Then the master data required for calibration inspection then equipment creation in the system, then maintenance strategy, maintenance task list, okay? And maintenance plan creation, okay? And then how the planning of this calibration inspection activity happens, how they plan it, then how the processing of the calibration inspection process, and finally configuration related to calibration inspection. Okay. So these are the topics we will be covering in the calibration inspection. Okay, so basically, uh, test equipment is used in many companies for performing quality inspection on materials. So normally in the industries, in the quality control lab, they will use some equipment, test equipment, to check the quality of the materials. Okay, to do to perform quality inspection, they need some test equipment, some machines, some testing machines. Okay, so in order to ensure that the test equipment used always fulfills the defined performance criteria most companies regularly test and calibrate their test equipment okay so basically what happens is periodically they will check whether this test equipment are working properly or not they are, they are whether they are giving the proper results or not they will check periodically they will do that check that that activity is called calibration inspection. Okay. Calibration means just checking whether the test equipment is functioning properly or not. So in the, the, the industries, basically what happens is in the quality control laboratory, normally in the industries, you will have a quality control laboratory. So basically in the quality control laboratory, to check the quality of the materials, they will use some test equipment. Here you see, she is using a balance. Some people use pH meters. They will use different, different equipments basically. They will use different, different equipments. These are called test equipment. So periodically they will check whether this equipment is working properly or not. But now we are not doing the quality inspection on material. We are just checking whether the equipment used for the quality inspection of the material, whether it is working properly or not, they will check. Periodically, they will do. They will not do daily. They will do monthly, once in a month, or once in a six months, or once in a year, they will do. So that activity is called calibration. Calibration. Okay. So basically, it's like cross-checking. Cross-checking the equipment, whether it is giving the desired output or results or not that is called calibration inspection. So using the functions in the component, using the functions in the component, you can manage equipment data, plan and schedule inspections, plan and schedule inspections, and performing and perform calibration inspection for the equipment at regular intervals. Okay, so as I just explained, they will do this calibration activity at regular intervals, not a daily activity. Okay, so whatever we are discussing today, this calibration inspection, it is basically integration between QM and PM modules, plan maintenance module. Okay, so whenever this functionality is implemented in any company, you need to coordinate with the plan maintenance consultant, PM consultant. So in our QM, we call it as a quality calibration inspection. Okay, same business function, same process, in PM module, they call it as test equipment management, both same. Okay, so in our QM, we call it as a calibration inspection. Okay, in our QM, we call this as a calibration inspection. And same process in PM, they call it as test equipment management, both same.
equipment both are same okay so now we will see this. so the this is the process flow so the process flow is uh first the planning activity happens in the pm module plan maintenance module so they will create all the necessary data master data okay master data okay in this master data you will link your qm mic's we need to link our qm mic's that i will show it in the system okay and after that they will do the scheduling when they do the scheduling it will generate an order normally it is called as a calibration order so these activities will happen in the pm module now when the order is created when the order is created and released calibration order system will generate a inspection lot automatically so now using this inspection lot they will do the calibration activity these things happens in the qm module so basically it is an integration between q pm and qm modules this business model. so as i told earlier you need to coordinate with your plan maintenance consultant most of the master data will come from the pm module, pm module. okay so this is the calibration inspection functions basically in this calibration inspection function first we will be creating all the master data required for it first first function then we will do the planning calibration inspection planning activity and after that processing so once the order gets generated and along with that inspection lot we will do the processing of the calibration inspection so it happens in three steps basically so first we will start with the master data okay so now we will talk about master data required for calibration inspection activity okay first thing is you need to create a equipment every test equipment in the quality lab it is created as a equipment okay so if you see suppose let's say uh, to check the ph value in the lab normally they will use a ph meter okay in your 12 standard chemistry uh, practicals you might have used this ph meter okay so they use this ph meter okay this ph meter so this ph meter I will create as a equipment let's say i want to calibrate this ph meter once in a month once in a month so first we need to create this ph meter as a equipment in the system okay so that's the equipment okay so this will be done by the pmt plan maintenance team will do this we will not be doing in the real time just i will create the ph meter as a equipment okay so now i log on to the system Okay, so the T code is IE01. IE01. This is the T code. Create equipment. This is the T code. Don't uh, don't worry about this. This will be done by PMT in the real time. Plan maintenance module team will take care of this activity. Okay. Don't give the equipment number system will automatically assign it is valid from today now select the category if you go to the list we are creating a test equipment here you see there is a category called q test and measurement equipment so normally all the quality department quality control department equipments are created with this equipment category q so let's select q enter okay so i will create ph meter ph meter this i am creating as a equipment okay and they will enter all the information here object type okay let me select that's okay i'll select as a okay that's okay i'll select as this one okay uh, now you enter the startup date let's say startup date is from today okay that means we are going to use it from today you can enter the manufacturer of this ph meter okay they will enter all the other information also okay all the other information but i'm just maintaining the required information now go to location where it is located plant and we will be using the 1710 and they can enter the other information also now they will go to organization 